In place, all over one, and welcome to another vlog. We just saw Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Um, right off the bat, I'd like to say I'm glad I saw this now before seeing any spoilers for it or reading any of the reviews. Because oh, fuck yes. <laughs> and by the way, I'll probably make sure that this video gets out today at this yeah. point <laughs> because people are itching out there. Let me tell you. Yeah. Um, even guys that I only watch for video games, they're just like, best movie ever, best movie ever. Yeah. It's like, oh. Uh, um, so, yeah, okay. How blown away were we? Uh, I think it's the best movie since Star Wars. Uh, yeah. It, for for Space awesome. Opera in particular. Yeah, it, very solid film. I mean, it had good pacing, had good humor. I mean, <laughs> I think, uh... I had some decent sand moments, yeah. There, yeah. there, there was moments of the feels. Yeah. Feels. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, like, towards the end, there... Not to give away any spoilers, but you'll feel the feels a couple of times towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how can I can't believe these feels. <laughs> the feels! Oh, yeah. The feels for CGs! <laughs> <laughs> Um, all the actors did really well. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the big, bulky, red red tattooed guy, I can't think of his name for some reason. He keeps... The Destroyer? Oh. I can't think of his full name. Uh, yeah, I can't remember his full name either. It's something the Destroyer, but he's like a wrestler. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should I know, know. You're I know. the wrestling saying, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Batista. It's Dan Batista. Is it? Mm. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, even every once in a while when you hear wrestler gone actor, you yeah, only you, think you kinda, of one or two good examples and the rest of... Yeah, I mean, especially when you look at uh, what else is on right now, I mean, comparing this to something like Hercules. <laughs> Hercules, uh, <laughs> Well, I don't blame The Rock for that. I blame uh, The Rock for supporting yet another crappy movie, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the yeah. most awesome movie I've seen yeah. in quite some time. Uh, and, and I have... I don't even have nitpicks. Even on The Hobbit, I had nitpicks. Yeah, I know. I mean, here... here it was really hard to find any faults with it. I mean, it's a... Yeah, it just yep. felt like a solid film through and through. The only times it actually slows down is to actually do stuff that you kind of want it to do. Yeah. They, they develop characters pretty well. They do, They at least brush on the backstory slightly. Right. Um, they develop what's going on with the individual characters and how and why they mash and then at the same time don't mash. Yeah. Um, and then they also make time for a bit of lighthearted comedy with, with some thought to it. Right. Which, sadly, is the problem with most comedies these days, is that they don't put thought to it. Ah, pee joke! Yeah. <laughs> Accident. <laughs> um, otherwise, most of the rest of the background development, as far as I'm aware, is pretty close to canon. Alright. Um, yeah, I, I think they mentioned that Star-Lord was half-human, but I don't know that anyone's actually bluntly told me who his father actually is yet. Yeah. Which will be interesting to find out, especially if they keep going with, on with this. Oh, yeah, and it, it's hard to imagine them not going on with this. Right this now, so. the, it's essentially with how well this turned out. I mean, yeah. this is, for, by, by most Marvel standards, even this group was even less known than Iron Man. Let's put it that right. way. Yeah, I, A lot of people, when they found out about this movie, went, who the hell's Guardians of the Galaxy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a lot of, like, head scratch and then not really sure what to expect. And I've seen, like, about at least a dozen background history things on YouTube, so it's yeah. just like, yeah, people knew that people were going, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> um, for a group of people that most people don't really know about because they don't follow that particular comic, oh my god, this blew it out of the water. This is probably one of the riskiest things Marvel Studios has put out in a long while, and it paid off. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, I gotta give Marvel credit. I mean, yeah, they, they kept, what, did go out on a limb a little bit, but man, they decided to do something. I mean, they committed a hundred percent to doing it well. So. Mm -hmm. Usually they do, yes, which is the one reason we really love their particular oh, part yes. of the franchise right now. Right. <laughs> Other than the fact that Fox 
keeps fumbling the ball of Spider-Man, but is not picking up the ball again properly with X-Men at the moment, at least. Sinister. <laughs> Sinister's doing the X-Men right, at least, but seriously, a Sinister Six movie? Mm. Who's going to be the big bad for that? So, shall we do Spoiler Finger? Yeah, we can. Spoiler Finger. Yeah. You have now about five seconds to please turn away, mute, or whatever, and try to fast forward to the end when we stop with the Spoiler Finger. You have been warned. Good day. Right. So, spoilers. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life! Oh, oh my god. Oh, and, and I love the fact that they tossed in Thanos to be a big overarching villain for this, yes, as well as know, everything else. I know. It's, uh... They're so clearly trying to make this the Avengers of Space. Right. And planning to combine everyone for a big Thanos bash down. Yeah, yeah. It, that's is... going to be another awesome movie. Yeah, I mean. It... You know, you could tell, like, leading up to the Avengers that they're building, and it's obviously they're building to it, and, yeah, I think that's, it, it feels like this is building to something even, even bigger, even more spectacular, so. Yes, I cannot wait, because this is also their big tentative step into doing big universal shit, which means that not only are these guys here, but as we, since we have a spoiler finger, we can say it, we saw Hard to Duck at the end of this movie. Oh, yes, I know, I did not see that coming at all. I'm sitting here going... I, I've heard, heard rumors that maybe Howard, maybe, come on, yeah. I want a good Hard to Talk movie, I would love to do a Hard to Talk <laughs> then and now kind of video, uh, where I review the crappy 80s one and then come back to this and go, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, try to redeem the franchise. And uh, I'm trying to think of his name. Uh, Nathan Fillion, maybe? Yeah, Nathan Fillion. Yeah, I believe it's Nathan Fillion that actually does the voice of Howard the Duck. <laughs> and he comments on one of the characters that got beat up getting licked by a dog. <laughs> Speaking of which, Star-Lord. Yes. Wow, does he does he bet everything? Is he the new Kirk? Oh, Ooh, He's chasing after yeah. the green women right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, he, even women with tentacles. Yeah. <laughs> Try to take out a juggler right there. You see that? <laughs> hey, I'll do it once. That's Captain yeah. Jack would say. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, it's such a, anything with a hole. Well, right, fit. Yeah, I, I was going to say, like, I mean, what, what else do you expect humans to do? Right? <laughs> Get in this space and try to fuck everything. <laughs> Why not? Let's see if it works. Let's see if anything happens. <laughs> Most likely not, but we'll, set, we'll see. We'll try it. <laughs> Also, I'm kind of wondering how, how the blue guy knows Star-Lord's father, because apparently he knows. Oh, okay. Then there was that very quick throwaway line towards the end there. Oh, yeah. He was right. He was hired to pick between Oh, yeah, Maybe. yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he said something. Said something yeah, he said something along the lines like he was hired to bring him back, and then he uh, just never made the delivery, which I thought was a kind of nice tie-in as to why he got abducted in the first place at the beginning of the movie, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, yeah, since he's a guy that's out there for money, maybe it's just something that he's been thinking about, but since he needed an extra hand, yeah. he decided to keep the kid around because the kid became useful. Yeah. So, that would be something interesting to look forward to eventually happening as well. Mm-hmm. So, now I'm trying to think, what, who else would be thrown into a group like this? By the way, uh, current group, uh, I forget, they, they left somebody behind, but they had recently picked up uh, Iron Man as part of Guardians of the Galaxy now, in the comics. Okay. He's a temporary honorary member of Guardians of the Galaxy right now, so that's a thing. Huh. <laughs> that's a thing. They have members. <laughs> Oh, speaking of uh, hard to duck, that means that She-Hulk won't be far behind. Because she usually does a lot of cross-comics with Howard. All right. Uh, last time I actually saw Howard in a comic, she actually came out as one of his attorneys. <laughs> she, she, she stays in the green farm all the time because she decides to do it. All right. But outside of the hero business, she's a lawyer. <laughs> Seriously. That's a lawyer you don't want to fuck yeah, with. Yeah, no kidding. Because, oh my god, will she crush you like a grape. <laughs> Both money-wise as well as physically crush you like a grape. She's yeah. strong enough. <laughs> I also hear she works out a lot. Because she can. I mean, right, yeah, I mean... <laughs> she can push, probably push any heavyweight guy around right, right. now. About any day she wanted to, but 
you gotta keep that build up, you know? Right. Uh, anything else to spoiler eyes? Uh, oh, the final bot, the final fight in the ship and everything. Yeah. Groot almost dies. They right. they, they yeah. pull at your heartstrings for that. They try to almost kill off Groot, and yeah. there's even a teary-eyed moment between him and Rocket. Yeah. It's just like, no, that's not the feels. That yeah, the I know. I can't know. Groot. <laughs> Oh. And, then, and then he says, we are all Groot. Yeah. It's just like, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I kind of figured too that, you know, I, I know enough about Groot that I'm pretty sure if they got a piece of him somewhere, yeah, right, if it's the right piece, and they kept it going, that Groot would probably come back. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they do spoil it a little bit at the end, very, very end that uh, the plants that uh, Rocket tries watering does apparently start to grow into Groot again. Right, yeah, it starts regenerating. So. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, that and because Star-Lord is half-human is the reason why he doesn't instantly burn up at the end of the movie as well. Yeah. So he's also the key reason why they actually won against the... Uh, it's not Thanos, what's his name again? Ronan. Ronan. That's the key reason why they were able to stop Ronan is because the others were able to help him channel the power of the... Um, uh, was it Stone? Infinity Stone. Infinity Stone, that's what it was. My brain is yeah. having my hands now. It's too, it's too long. Uh, but yeah, that's the re- main reason they were able to possibly channel the uh, um, eter- eternity? No, it's infinity. Yeah. God, my <laughs> brain will not retain a name today. Uh, the eternity stones. That's the reason why they were able to channel the infinity stone to kill Ronan so that they could yeah. off him at the end of the movie. I also hope that he got really distracted by the dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, oh, yeah. What are you doing? Like, How is the big bad going to be stupid this time? Yeah. <laughs> because someone in front of him is, is doing something that no one expects them to do. Yeah. Yes, starts dancing to the music because I believe his radio set was playing in the yeah. background. What yeah. are you doing? I'm distracting you. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. I guess the hardened villains would fight off of that. Well, the hardened like, space villains because they have no idea what Earth is on about. Like, yeah. <laughs> I've never like, seen any dancing before at know, all. In so. the way he sounded it the first part, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just like, oh, oh. just so hilarious the way he said that. He tries to pass it off, and then she's just like, no, no, okay, back to me. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, 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 the fact that he ends it with the classic line of, I'm distracting you. <laughs> I need that part off soon. I've, I think I've seen that line used only once before, and that was in The Gamers. Mm, yeah. Actually, no, it wasn't the gamers. Uh, Legend of Meal. Oh, uh. <laughs> uh, he, he and a whole bunch of moblins are drunk. Points uh, uh, points to a random location. I'm distracting you. And they all all the moblins still look. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he runs off. He escapes. Like I said, I don't see that one often, but it's usually pretty good when it's used. Yeah. So, are we done with Twilight Zone? Uh, awesome movie, go and see it. <laughs> yeah. Very, very simple and blunt, yeah. Mikey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It oh. has to be the best space opera movie I've seen since Star Wars. There's not very many space opera movies out there to begin with. I can only think off the top of my head Star Wars and Flash Gordon that count. Mm-hmm. Essentially, space opera to bring it down to basics is science fiction without too much of the technical technical gobbledygook. Right. It's about the feel of it. Right. And this is definitely not overly complicated. It's mostly just about the feel of it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's very well executed, very enjoyable. Alrighty, so I guess that's about <laughs> it for this time then. Yep. See you all next time. What well, Probably The Hobbit is what we're doing that vlog for sure together. Yeah, probably. Can't wait for that one. That's going to be action-packed, I'm pretty sure. No. Be yeah. a nice big finale. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See you all next time. Thank you.